Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to use the uh, clay brush. Second one over, base type clay. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, use the keyboard shortcuts that I was using last time. Uh, it's next to IOP. The next one over is the bracket facing right. So let's press that a few times to lower the brush size um, and let's see what clay is all about fancy wow one thing I really like about this program is that it's very easy to um, come up with ideas very quickly just by scribbling on the page like that could be a rocket pack or something. Yeah, but anyway, the clay brush is just like clay in real life. It slowly adds to the canvas or object or whatever you're trying to shape. And, oh, now it's some guy's, some tribal guy's head. I don't know. Um, you can alter the way clay appears or um, projects its brush with some of your alphas. Uh, one good one I like for the clay is uh, this alpha 58. Let's see, let's press undo a few times. Yeah, okay, so brand new model. And this scratches into your uh, sphere, giving you hair, right? Fancy. Or the illusion of hair. There are much better ways of making hair within ZBrush for R2B, but let's take a look at a few more. Alpha 23. Control Z. Yes, brand new. Okay. Mm, interesting. Cool. Uh, one cool thing with any of your brushes is you can change the stroke type. So right now we're on freehand to just drag out um, the brush that we're using. Um, another way of doing that is drag rectangle. This just, you know, picks one area and you can drag the size of it. So this is pretty cool. Let's zoom out. Now I have a strange asteroid or bubbly something. I don't know. Uh, control Z and then you can use dots which is very similar to freehand nope okay and you can use um, let's start with spray spray is very similar to Photoshop where you can just you know scatter your uh, let's use a different alpha just so it's easier to see. Uh, yeah, this circle. It um, generates it in a um, random pattern. So if you wanted um, an ice cream cone, now you've got one. Really fancy. And clay is a great sculpting brush. Love, love, love clay. Okay, control Z. Another nice thing about ZBrush is it has many undo or undos, so you don't have to be worried about you don't have to be worried all too much about, you know, oh, what did I have before? No, I I can't go back, you know. You've got uh, 
let's, I don't know, I, I'm a little lazy right now, so let's just see how many it can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, three, twenty-four, twenty-five, Move around. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay. Now I'm wet, uh, pretty sure that all of those un... Will, I'm sorry. All of those uh, crazy brush strokes I just made can be undone. So let's hold down Control Z back to square one. So that's pretty fancy. Uh, another way of applying those brush strokes is the drag out, which is very nice if you are unclear as to the location of where you want to put it. You know, I think it might look good up here, but then I don't know, it might look good, good down here. You can click and drag to see, oh, well, no, I like it right there, yeah. And then I think I like that, and that, that, that. So that that is a nice way of um, creating geometry. Um, you know, um, okay, so let's see if there's anything else. Yeah. Mouse average, that is, let's see, let's hover over it, and then press control. The mouse average slider affects the way uh, cursor input is pr processed by ZBrush. A value of 1 means that the actual mouse position is used at all times. The value of 2 or higher means a number of mouse positions are read and averaged b before the before arriving at the final value. This can result in a smoother drawing movement. Okay, so probably probably wouldn't work too well on um, drag out. Let's try freehand. Uh, let's see if that... Mm, let, I don't know. Then mouse average... I'm not sure. Did anyone see that? Oh well. Anyway, that's uh, Clay Brush. See you in the next episode, everybody.